welcome friends i am here with again a new problem of linear correlation the data available is x bar 50 y bar 60 sigma x minus 40 y minus 50 equals to 160 it is very clear that this is not sigma x minus x bar and this is not sigma y minus y bar that is clear sigma xy is 48258 this is the say product the summation not product actually it was a mistake it is like this sigma x minus 40 equals to sigma y minus 50 equals to 160 that should be the value sigma xy 48258 sigma x minus 45 see here it is sigma x minus 40 here it is sigma x minus 45 the whole square it is 656 sigma y minus 64 here also it is sigma y minus 64 and here it is sigma y minus 50 sigma y minus 64 whole square is 12 1280 This is hybrid kind of question. The matter of confusion for any student is if we take these two as sigma u and sigma v, these are not sigma u square and sigma v square. Because in case of sigma u and sigma u square, the assumed mean must be same, but that is not in this case. Similarly, in case of sigma v and sigma v square, the assumed mean must be the same but it is not so either these if we take these two as sigma u and sigma v these two are not sigma u square and sigma v square now how to calculate coefficient of correlation between x and y this cannot be treated as the data available for u as well as v so the only way to solve this problem is to open these brackets and find out the values but the first thing is there is no information about n so we have to first find out n for calculation of n we have to use this data if we treat these two as sigma u and sigma v we can find out n either on the basis of x bar or on the basis of y bar x bar is equal to a plus sigma u upon n now x bar is given to be 50 if we treat this as sigma u a is given to be 40 sigma u is 160 and is missing the simplification will be 50 minus 40 first we must shift 40 on the opposite side The simplification will be 50 minus 40 equals to 160 upon n. That means 10 equals to 160 upon n. The simplification gives us n equals to 16. Instead of x bar, we can also use y bar. I I leave it upon you to find n on the basis of y bar. For the purpose of practice, I suggest you that. find out n on the basis of y bar and sigma v it must be 16 now what on the basis of x bar y bar and n now we can find out first of all sigma x and sigma y what will happen x bar is equal to sigma x upon n so x bar into n equals to sigma x x bar is 50 into n is 16 so sigma x comes to 800 this is our first achievement on the basis of y bar we can find out sigma y in the same way y bar is given to be 60 so 60 into 16 n sigma y so sigma y is 960 now sigma xy is already with us so we have three summations sigma y sigma y sigma xy but we still have not two summations sigma x square and sigma y square sigma x square can be found out through this and sigma y square through this 
सिग्मा एक्स माइनस फोर्टी फाइव द होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स दैट इज द अवेलेबल डेटा नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सिग्मा एक्स माइनस फोर्टी फाइव द होल स्क्वायर कीप सिग्मा एज इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर यस एक्स स्क्वायर द साइन विल बी द सेम माइनस टू इंटू फोर्टी फाइव नाइनटी इंटू एक्स Opposite sign plus because square of minus square of minus forty five will be positive. Square of forty five two thousand twenty five equals to six fifty six. This is the situation. Now open the bracket. Sigma will go with all these three. Sigma with x square will be sigma x square. Sigma with ninety x will be ninety sigma x, and sigma with two thousand twenty five. What about that? Sigma with any constant value is equivalent to n. So ultimately, the thing is sigma x square minus ninety sigma x plus n into two thousand twenty five equals to six hundred fifty six. Remember, sigma with constant number is equal to n. Sigma takes value n. Let us substitute the available values. Ninety into sigma x means ninety into eight hundred. N into two thousand twenty-five means sixteen into two thousand twenty-five. Something like this. So sigma x square minus ninety into eight hundred is seventy-two thousand plus. 16 into 2025. 16 into 2032. 2016 into 25. 400. So 32,400 equals to 656. Now we have to shift 72,000 and 32,400 on opposite side. So sigma x square is equal to 656 plus 72,000 minus 32,400. Therefore sigma x square comes to Forty thousand two hundred fifty-six. We have obtained the fourth summation: sigma x, sigma y, sigma x y, and now sigma x square. The only missing thing is sigma y. Sigma y minus sixty-four. The whole square equals to one thousand two hundred eighty. That is the available data. Again, the same thing. Sigma as it is, y square minus sixty four into two one twenty eight y plus the square of sixty four is four thousand ninety six. It is one of the binary expansion one thousand two hundred eighty. Sigma with all will be sigma y square minus sigma into one twenty eight y plus sigma four thousand ninety six. That type of strange expression. Sigma y square has it is sigma will go with y, so minus one twenty eight sigma y plus sigma with any constant number will take value n. <coughs> so it will be sigma y square minus one twenty eight into sigma y that is nine hundred sixty. Plus n is sixteen. N into four thousand ninety six means sixteen into four thousand ninety six. One twenty eight into nine sixty is one lakh twenty two thousand eight hundred eighty. One hundred twenty two thousand eight hundred eighty. Plus sixteen into four thousand ninety six is sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six. So we have to shift these two constant values on the opposite side. Sorry, there is negative sign not equal to sigma y square equal to one thousand two hundred eighty plus one lakh twenty two thousand eight hundred eighty minus sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six. So ultimately, sigma y square comes to fifty eight thousand six hundred twenty four. Now we have all five summations required with us: sigma x, sigma y, sigma x square, sigma x square, sigma 
y square. So now we can calculate the coefficient of correlation that will be n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon under root n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into under root n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square. Let us substitute the values n is 16 sigma xy is 48258 minus sigma x 800 sigma y 960 very large values please take or try to take utmost care i have also written the values huh. n is 16 into sigma x square 40256 minus 800 the whole square into under root 16 into sigma y square 58624 minus 960 the whole square 77 772128 minus 768000 upon under root multiplication of these two will be 644096 minus 64,000 square of 800 into under root 16 into 58,624 is 937,984 minus square of 960 is 921,600 921,600 ultimately the simplified values are 4,128 upon under root 4096 into under root 16384 4128 divided by 8192 so ultimately the coefficient of correlation between the pen has also tired is 0.50 0 0.504 so this was a very special kind of problem comparatively more complicated but this is the solution that's it for now thank you very much